Hello everybody and welcome to the presentation of very easily scanning and archiving process inside SAP. Uh, we from Impunto developed an uh, application which enables you to scan inside the SAP GUI directly, to have an in-place scanning for example, or you can separate the organizational part of the, of the posting of the in, uh, uh, items from the scanning process. And this works together with the mass processing server and the archiving system. I will show you in this way how easily the way is you can bring these paper into the SAP system. In the first example, I want to post an invoice. For example, with the FB60 transaction, this is an example, I choose the vendor and the invoice date, for example, from today. Then uh, the reference number, example, and the amount. And now we need the GL, GL account for information and amount once again. And over here, the cost center. In this case, the SAP has a specific customizing. If you want to, to store the, the vendor invoice, then SAP says we need a barcode for this object. What do you do? You put a barcode label from example, put a barcode label from the barcode row, put it on the first page on this for example, and then you take a hand scanner, a barcode scanner, and you see the code is transferred to the SAP system. Now, the document is still outside the system, of course, but you can uh, work in this way with several objects, with several papers. At least you have the complete overview with the specific transaction from the SAP. And uh, this transaction is the OAM1 transaction, which shows you the waiting barcodes inside the SAP system. Have a look on this. This is the barcode at, uh, with 5.9 uh, at least. And so this is the, the waiting barcode from the SAP system it belongs to this object key over there. Another example, another example is the MIGO, the transaction MIGO. If you have a, a good receipt and you have a material document, for example, then you can add and barcode manually. This belongs to the generic object services over there. And here you can enter a barcode also, but this is the way you work manually with barcodes. For example, this one here, this is including barcode, you scan the barcode, and now in the transaction, we have two open barcodes inside the SAP system. Have a look on this. Internal. Two barcodes. On one way, this is the this was the FE invoice, and this is the MM, the uh, the delivery note, for example. And now, what we have to do, we put all the documents together, put the complete stack into the scanner. In our case, we start the application from Impunto. This is the business scanner, and the business scanner communicates to the SAP system via an IFC protocol and HTTP protocol. And very important, this is a scanning tool for SAP, and this means that SAP has the complete leadership about the scanning process. And the, the application is starting. We choose the right uh, scenario in this, and then we scan the complete stack at one time. So the two pages are scanned. We can control the two pages, first page, second page, the barcodes over there. And the only thing we have to do is to say, yes, everything is okay. And now have a look on the system architecture to the system overview. Uh, in this case, we scan with a uh, document scanner via the BISTU scanner from Impunto. And uh, inside the SAP, there are different objects with, uh, with a barcode. We've seen the uh, two objects with the OAM1 transaction. 
And we put on the uh, hardware device, we put all the, uh, the complete stack of the barcoded documents. And with the business scanner, they are scanned into the archiving system, but in a temporary repository of the archiving server. And this is very important because we use from the beginning with the scanning process, we use only SAP protocols uh, for transfer of the document information. And these information are going through the SAP system. And now SAP knows there's a new job for the scan server for processing and give the information to the scan server, uh, get the, the new file, which is in the temporary repository and start your procedure. And in our scenario, the scan server reacts on the barcodes, only on the barcodes and separates the documents. And the separated documents are stored in the permanent repository of the archiving server. And the link is built with the waiting object via the barcode, identified barcode and the archive link is built up. And we see over there, this uh, switch over to the, to the SAP system. I refresh the open Intel barcode table and you see this open uh, barcode table is empty. The paper found the objects and now we can control it. For example, with the, uh, with the MIGA. Once again, we choose this object and with the attachment list, you see, this is the date from, from today. And this was the example from the first, the first thing. And this is the FI object with the attachment list. And here you get the other information, for example. This is very easily to handle and completely transparent. You can use the SAP customizing or you can do it manually. You can add the barcodes manually and the scan on the scan server and the archiver realize this simple scenario for you.